peace and greetings you guys what's good it's your girl Naya here from the metaphysical mommy welcome and happy new year's to everyone this is going to be an unboxing of the chakra reading cards by rachel charman ancient wisdom to balance and heal um so it comes in a nice hard box this is from rockpool publishing now I was put onto these cards by Papa Soul, <laughs> um, who we've been getting into very interesting conversations about decks in general, and um, I'll be doing some separate videos on some of those topics later. But here we are. I got my scissors on deck. Okay, no pun intended. Well, I guess it was really. <laughs> no pun intended. I saw some images from these and I was really excited to get my hands on them. So it comes in the box has the, uh, it has the metal, I'm sorry, the magnetic latch on the side. It's not very, it's strong, but the plastic is harder than, than the magnet is strong. So that's what the inside, looks like when you open it has the book and the back of the card so the book let's look at the book really quickly all right so that's the what the back of the cards look like here as we can see mom very beautiful and the guidebook here is 107 pages where it gets to where it says about the author the cool thing about this that i noticed right away is that it is colored on the inside those are the chapters if you can see that my lighting is a bit skewed there i changed my lights and now i'm working around it as you can see the it's glossy and it does have reproductions of the cards on the inside so that's pretty cool and some information about the chakras i just want to look at the cards i always read the book but it's a first impressions and walk through or and flip through so y'all know how i do i kind of cut straight to the point because it doesn't make sense unless i have something else and very important to say so back of the cards as we can see there's definitely some shine to it i guess that's the good thing about these lights it really does pick up whether they're glossy or not and they are in order as you can see when we look at them there's there's colors on the edges of the cards and so right off the bat here we have mother earth rebirth nurturing beautiful grounding i i love the uh the tree roots when i see grounding i definitely always think of of that love that family gorgeous so let's uh let me see here can we do that like that Let me turn this around so I can look at it with you guys because if not, we're gonna be extremely annoyed with each other. <laughs> be right back. Okay, I'm back. We have flipped this around so it makes more sense for us all. So let's talk about the backs really quickly, okay? Just really quickly. So we have the base, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, the throat, the third eye and the crown chakra and here we also have the earth star chakra which would be beneath the root or the base or the root chakra and then we also have the star the soul star chakra which would be above the crown chakra so when we were looking at these cards here these were all part of the earth star chakra all these ones so now here when we're talking about family we're talking about 
the base or the root chakra. So all these ones in red, we have balance. I love that. Holistic health. It's so interesting that this is the sign for the medical industry, but we also see that like on the Two of Cups. And nobody on the Two of Cups in Tarot, and a lot of people don't typically... Um, really utilize that symbol in that manner like maybe saying you know talking to a friend I mean maybe it's maybe it's taboo to talk about it because it's talking up touching on health but I don't think there's anything wrong with saying go see your doctor you know what I'm saying when you're having a reading so anyways it's just something I don't hear often when I see the two of cups but I like that that that's really good holistic health yeah the body the the physical aspect of health and how to be healthy from within abundance oh that's that's really gorgeous and it's it's probably interesting to associate abundance maybe with the root chakra but again it's earthly right it's it's the closest thing rooted to the earth uh the the tangible physical reality now we're moving into the sacral chakra flexibility so i kind of like this combination of like photos like and and art um i, I kind of like that combination because it su surprises you creativity inspiration relationships that's really that's a really pretty card. And then we move into the solar plexus, personal power. That is just beautiful. I love that. I can't remember what the close fist is in, in tarot again. It's one of those tree of life references. But yeah, I like that image. Inner strength. I think this is a really powerful card, the image, because this just looks like this person looks very sc scarred up, basically. I mean, in, in one respect, it kind of looks like the person is made of ash and they may be super delicate like if you touch it it would just fall apart but at the same time with the light coming from within it's also like that healing like that inner healing and that inner strength that even if you feel like you're going to fall apart you're not and that all the scars that we carry are proof that we can heal that's really profound for me just because I suffer with a skin condition. So this is hitting a lot of points for me. Very, very beautiful card. Self mastery, lovely. Get it, get it together, get it right to get your chakras aligned, people. Determination. Keep going even when it seems hard. So now we're moving to the heart chakra, the inner child. The inner child does not judge. The inner child is that innocence that allows us to find love in the first place. Love. I, I really like that image for love. Really, really beautiful. Forgiveness. Yes. Forgiveness is a concept that I think... I think forgiveness is one of those concepts that perhaps shadow work could be done with. And this is not, I mean, even for myself, but just in my surroundings and generally what's going on with the world we need to redefine and reintroduce ourselves to what forgiveness really means and why it's so useful and why it's so powerful.
and how it really does come from the heart center as well. Beautiful. Oh yeah, I'm already loving this deck, you guys, because I'm over here riffing and I'm usually kind of quick with it. Um, play, love the dolphins, represents it there. So now we have the throat chakra, communication. Ooh, I love that. That's so matrix or so, um, I'm gonna age myself, so demolition man. <laughs> If you guys never seen The Demolition Man, there's a part in there. Okay, well, spoilers if you haven't, but it's a throwback movie with Sylvester Stallone and Sandra Bullock. And basically, he wakes up into a new future. And when they're supposed to, like, basically, he she wanted to mate with him. And they put on these helmets. And the helmets, basically, they were having kind of, like, mental... <laughs> it was kind of like that thing like the way that the synopsis look right there like that's how they were mating it was more mental they just had these things on their head they didn't actually physically touch each other so it was, anyways it was funny and interesting but I like this as a form of communication this is almost alluding to the kind of ESP or sixth sense that we have about ourselves where sometimes we can look at a person and just know without saying a word love that life purpose I find that interesting to be in the throat chakra but I guess it's kind of you get what you ask for and you kind of find it that way too by going through communicating the truth truth versus lies for the throat chakra, absolutely. Listening, absolutely. And now we move into the third eye. Clarity, look at that. Quartz. That's really lovely. Dreams is also the third eye, absolutely. I agree. Psychic development. Ew. I love that crystal ball. I really enjoy the artwork in this visualization. Yes, work it out. <laughs> visualization. Man, visualization is so important. I don't care if you visualize in a linear way or you let your imagination run wild. Visualization is such a core component to the trajectory that we take in this world. I, I really love the colors in this card. Yellow and this deep eggplant color it just reminds me of Oya and Oshun. And then there's that little hint of green in there. So it's just like earth, earth mother, empress type energy. I love this. Okay. So now I'm moving to the crown chakra and we have spiritual awakening beautiful I am presence I am presence I'm really captivated by these images oh peace they're really they're nice and and simple and they really do pull a lot of information for me intuitively meditation crown chakra meditation angels and masters so now we're into the soul star so angels and masters universal light soul healing divine wisdom so I love that the figures hair is purple in this don't ask me why I okay but overall I really like it the card stock is 
it kind of feels like you're trying to give it a comparison here you guys all right so this is from the isis oracle this is um thinner than the isis oracle the size is about the same size just just about the same size as you can see it's literally like a touch wider and a touch taller than the isis oracle from alana fairchild which is um blue angel publishing so the blue angel publishing cardstock is definitely thicker than this but this is not horrible either um here let me do one of these let me see if i can shuffle it so you guys can see the kind of give that it has it's pretty flexible like they bend really easy can you see that so um Yeah, even for a riffle shuffle, I usually have a hard time with Blue Angel doing it for with Oracle cards, but I can definitely do it with these. Um, but they're not bad. They are glossy. I feel like they can live through somewhere and tear. I mean, overall, I'm definitely going to give these cards a try. Um, something else, these images kind of remind me of the Psychic Tarot for the Heart or the Psychic Tarot Oracle by John Holland. I'm getting a similar vibe from this inner child, kind of the way that the image is. These two almost look like the same person. Sorry if you didn't see that. Th these images both almost look like the same person. One starting from the earth, one going to the top. And again, this is the first impressions, you guys. So that was my Flip through an unboxing of the chakra reading cards by Rachel Charman. Um, I hope you guys I hope you guys found this helpful and that you guys check this deck out. Uh, it is available on Amazon. That's where I picked it up at, and I look forward to giving it a try really soon. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate all your guys' support and much love, many blessings, peace. Mm -hmm.